Well, good afternoon, folks. We just had this push mower dropped off. You can see the cords hanging out there. Craftsman Easy Walk has a Honda GCV 160. And customer said he picked it up from getting repaired at a rental place in town. And he said he was not pleased with what they did because they told him what they had to do was put that screw there to make it run, which is making it run on choke. It's gonna be interesting to see why in the world they would do that. So let's get this thing in the shop and check it out and see what's going on. I will have to excuse my mess. So I got this on our roll cart. Now, a little dirty. This, I don't know why, but I guess we're going to find out. 10 millimeter, let's buzz it apart. Okay, let's see if they made a mistake. What they do, and I've seen it many times. Let's see if I can just take this apart without everything falling off. Okay. They obviously bent this plate here. I see dirt in the mouth of the carburetor. I see our problem, folks. I see our problem. All right, I'm not going to stop this. I want you to take a look with me. I'm going to pull this off. It's going to be a little shaky, folks. What do we have here? I am looking at this plastic intake. Let's, I'm just going to scooch the carburetor back a little bit. This looks to be on upside down. Why my camera, there it goes. See right there? There's an air leak right there at that crack. This plate should be flipped over. I'm gonna show you. Let's see if I can get it off one hand. Well, I'm gonna put the camera back in the stand and then I'm gonna show you. We'll take it off. What it's doing is sucking air. That is why right there. Let's see if we can pop this loose. Take a little screwdriver. It's stuck on there pretty good. That is upside down, folks. This should be turned like this. The reason why, and I know I'm leaking gas, these holes are offset. See, it's closer to there than it is the top. And I'm going to take the camera and show you the offset. It's higher from this point to the bow holes than it is from there. They had it on upside down and it was sucking air and I'm betting that's about all that's wrong with it. Now what I'm gonna do, obviously we're gonna have to replace this gasket, it's torn. And I'm gonna go ahead and look in this carburetor, take a quick peek in the other, I'm not gonna show you that, but anyhow, that's the problem. So their solution was to hold the choke on to get it to suck more fuel through. They put it together wrong. Now these, you wanna make sure your choke is off. That lever is that position when you put these back together also, so that when you put the choke on, it moves this lever, okay? And it's a little tricky, but if you set it up to choke off this lever all the way to the right, your choke can be wherever. It'll wanna to return to the open position anyhow. And then I'll show you in a second putting this back together the correct way. Let me get this carburetor cleaned up and get us some gaskets. Okay, so while I am cleaning up these gaskets, I'm like, you know, something seems like it was missing. Let's look right there. That is your crankcase breather hose. You can see 
how dirty that is and it's been broken a while what that does is it routes out of here comes over and plugs into the back of your air filter housing that long pipe right there that sticks up and you can see I've taken the screw off I also blew my choke sticker off the top broke it so I had to draw on my choke arrow it's not rocket science so anyway we'll finish cleaning this up and get her get her ready to put back together and I'll show you how to put it together properly all right well as you can see I was out of a couple of gaskets there'll be some more here next week that one I was out of that one I was out of so I made them I have another video uh, where you can see how to make gaskets I cleaned the carburetor well, what I've done, and these are two new gaskets, is laid this in the order as it goes on the machine. Your two bolts go in to the cover, okay? Then your gasket, and I slide the bolts in, then the gasket, then you're going to go through the plate, and then the next gasket, which is this one, then your carburetor, then your air deflector, then your intake, and then your other gasket goes next to the block. So I'll set you up and show you how we put it all together. We also found this broke spring. So I didn't have the exact, but I have one really close. So we made one, put a new one on there, and it's gonna work beautifully. Had to make a breather hose. I didn't have one of those in stock trying to get this together so you guys can see it so bear with me we'll get this thing put together and we'll see if it actually runs one more quick thing these metal spacers can pop out so make sure you do not lose these they slide back in the holes there and then you throw it on the floor but make sure you don't lose these metal spacers that keeps you from mashing that plastic and misforming that air cleaner cover all right, let's see if we can get it set up. Well, ran out of gaskets in the middle of a video, so I had to make a few. I got that screw out, that stupid air cleaner. Okay, guys. So, we're going to start just the carburetor. What we're going to do is go ahead and hook that spring into the little hole. And then the lever will go in the long hole. or the long hole. You know what I mean, the big hole. Okay, and we're just gonna let it hang. Let's hook the fuel line up. Okay, so that's in. Now, we will take our bolts, our cover, our gasket. Make sure your holes line up like they're supposed to. Okay, and you'll kind of just stick this up in here. Next is going to be your next gasket. So we can wiggle this carburetor out of the way. Throw it on the floor. It's a little tricky, and I'm trying to do this standing on the wrong side of the mower. All I'm doing is putting that gasket in. And I'm, let me reposition this camera and I'll see if I can get where you can see what I'm actually doing here. Okay. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. See down there, I got the bolts just holding those two gaskets. Then I'm going to lift the carburetor up and scoop those screws up through. All right, I don't know if that's any better of you or not. Lift the carburetor up, get this bolts lined up. I'm going to ease these bolts through. We want them just stuck through the carburetor there. We're going to hook this breather hose up behind here also. And it's probably all going to fall apart before I get it together. 
little help with some needle nose. Let me get this hose on. I had to make this breather hose because it did not have one. Sometimes you just have to make stuff. Just like those gaskets. There we go. Okay. Now, next, the most important are going to be these three pieces here. Heat deflector, and we'll see if I can get these screws back through there. I'm not them all back loose. Get these back through. All right, there. Stick through the carburetor there. Throw it on the floor. This will go on position this way. And you can tell it's curled. You get your nice factory gasket, it won't be like that. See, it just likes to fall off, guys. See if we can make this stay. Y'all be patient with me. Stick around. Don't go nowhere. Most important part's coming up. Is with that block and stuff that they had installed wrong. Okay, there's our gasket. Now, see the now yes, I know I made my homemade gasket. It's taller up here. See the line of the screw holes? It's taller up here. The tall part goes to the top. Same with this. It's got dirt on there. We'll match these up like this. They will go in between. This is also lots of fun. Because Honda likes to make you have monkey fingers or something. You have to bend this back plate a little bit to get it in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the plastic piece on first. Push these screws through a little further. And then this is going on. Now we have to ring it back in these holes. You can at least get one side started. And a double check, triple check, quadruple check that all these gaskets are in the right place. Now with it loose, let me move this and see if I can get you down there where you can see. And get it to focus in here guys this thing is not cooperating today about that okay now all we got to do is tighten it up the other thing to watch for is that choke that that choke lever is off the choke lever toward the front of the engine that lever pushed to the rear of the engine that metal piece i showed you earlier That'll go behind that black tab on the choke where I showed you earlier in the video. All right, let me get this tightened up and I'll be right back with you. I guess we ought to hook up the plug wire too, huh? We'll take a look at that in a minute too. Okay, make sure that your choke lever is working. All right, I'm gonna pull the choke to the back, see it close. Now it's going back on its own. And that'll open that choke back up. Okie dokie, if you remember, the starter rope was loose at the beginning of the video. Well, turns out, whoever put this new rope in, they must have wound it too many times and got it to where when you pull the rope out, the spring is broken, it's why that rope was hanging out. So, we're going to have to fix that. Here's the other thing this other brilliant place did. They over tightened this. This is what holds your coil in. They stripped the threads and that's in the block. So we're going to have to fix that somehow. Look at that. Unbelievable. But 
anyhow, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put another little starter cover on here and, uh, and let's just at least hear that this thing runs and uh, I'll have to figure the rest of this out. So I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that stud. Anyhow, let me get the tank put back on there, get the cover on it. We're gonna fire this baby up. Stand by. Okay guys, let's see does it run. I might have to hold this down and this thing here. I'm gonna look a little weird. I got to hold my handle back over here. But this is gonna wanna kick up, so I'm gonna hold it with my foot. Okay, choke it, y'all. Choke it, choke it. folks she runs without her choke now y'all click that subscribe button oh y'all can see what i'm doing in the shadow click that subscribe button give us a like share leave a comment what i'm gonna probably do in here behind that stud where it comes up out of there i think it's too small for a heli coil which i don't have a heli coil anyway so i'm gonna probably drill it and put a set screw in there I think that coal will stay, but this machine is just not worth going a whole lot further with it. So, uh, especially with it smoking like this. So, all right, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Click that subscribe. Rayleigh's Small Engines, we gone.